Look what I carved into that. What that's made of, like steel, metal, and like carved on that to that. If I can overcome that, getting hit by a car at 70 mile an hour, like I can overcome anything. I tried to cycle around the world six times and I thought, this is it, like you need to go and do it. I knew I needed to just finish something for the sake of finishing it. I set off to Scotland with a determination that I'd never had before. This is it, man. Once you make that commitment, you take all other options off the table. So when you're in London on day six and your bike gets stolen, the only option to get another bike and keep going because you've committed to it. When you get sick and you want to go home, massive nosebleed. You've no other option, you've committed to it. So I have my emergency passport. That's it. When you commit to something, it means you're going to do it. Oh, no. It's <laughs> just a camel. <laughs> I cycled to China. Welcome to Tokyo. Korea. Welcome to Australia. Croatia. Geneva. Uzbekistan. This is Greece. Welcome to the USA, baby. Halfway across America, I was in the home straight. It was a couple of weeks away from finishing, and then Texas happened. Josh Quigley was cycling through Texas when he was hit by a car. The vehicle was traveling at 70 miles an hour. Really just about trying to start rehabilitating, getting walking again. Who knows how long that will take, but it's going to be a long journey and process to getting physically fit again, getting back on a bike, but mark my words, I will do it. Traumatic brain injury, fractured skull, seven broken ribs, broken spine, pelvis, shin, ankle, heel bone. I needed three major surgeries to put me back together again. This is another obstacle. Probably the biggest one I've faced so far, but I will find a way to finish. So I came back from America, and I kind of knew something was brewing, you know, you kind of just always deep in thought, and I was like, he's planned something. And he was like, I think I'm going to go back to America. And I was like, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Been a while. So I get back in the bike, managed to go back to Texas, and then cycled from Texas up to New York. You can see Manhattan in New York. Finally. The cycle into Manhattan. Five years after setting off, on technically my eighth attempt, 26,000 miles, more than 30 countries. Not all at once, but I have technically now cycled around the world. <laughs>